Hi, this is Sam Botstein for ADSRsMachineSkills.com. Native Instruments released a free update for Tractor Pro 2 owners, version 2.6.6, which introduces new mappings for Native Instruments controllers, including Machine Mark 2 and Machine Micro Mark 2. One of the new mappings takes advantage of the recently opened up Remix decks. In case you've never used one of NI's controllers to control Tractor before, I'd like to introduce you to Control Editor. Control Editor is an application which allows you to edit all the MIDI messages that NI's controllers send while in their MIDI mode. You can access machine's MIDI mode by pressing Shift and then Control. The Remix Tech mapping is a new factory template. If you've never opened up Controller Editor before, you should see a red number here showing that there are new factory templates. The Ableton Live, Ableton Live 9, and Mackie Control templates are all useful for different things. And the old Tractor Pro mapping that's always been there since Machines released is there too. But today I'm going to focus on this new Remix Dex mapping, which you all you have to do to load it up is to click right there, and it'll add it to your list. And back in Tractor, all you have to do to have Tractor recognize a new controller is to open up Preferences and then go into the Controller Manager. Now, in this update, Native Instruments has made this really nice and easy to add a new controller, especially one of their own. All you have to do is go to Add, Import TSI, Native Instruments, and to select your controller. You can see that under Machine Mark II and Micro Mark II, there are actually two options, one for Track Decks, which is the same as it's always been, with the encoders controlling different effects, and the buttons above the encoders controlling the buttons for those effects. But there's this new option, Mark II Remix Decks, which will allow you to control two Remix Decks with a single machine controller. Once you have this imported, all you have to do is leave these default settings, the import and the out part as Machine Mark II, and the device target as Focus, and close up the preferences, and you're ready to control the Remix Decks. The new mapping controls all of the cells. It isn't just the top row, like it used to be with something like the Control-Z2. Instead, you get full control over all of these different cells on the pad section, and you get to move between the banks with the group buttons. So pressing A will send you to the first of the four pages, B to the second, and so on. Unfortunately, they didn't build in the color feedback that you can expect out of the Control F1, which is a dedicated controller for one Remix deck. But what you do get is that the pads are dim when there is not a sample in the cell, and they are lit when there is. Also, the group buttons will flash while Remix decks are playing, and machine screens give some nice feedback for the position of the volume fader and the filter knob, which are analogous to that on the Control F1. There are two pages for the encoders and buttons on machine. If we take a look at them here in Control Editor, you can see that one of the pages controls whether the filter is on or off for both Remix decks at once, and the other page controls the mute or stop button, analogous to that on the Control F1, and the volume levels on each of the Remix decks, with feedback on the screens. I think that this is really nice. Native could have gone for a strategy in which they really closely emulated the way that the Control F1 worked with the Remix decks, but instead they went with a solution that controls two at once, which I find that a lot of DJs really like to use. Um, you know, maybe they mix with a setup with two track decks and two Remix decks. It really lets the machine controller become a viable solution for DJs who are mixing with two Remix decks. Of course, unlike the Control F1, you won't have full control over editing some of this stuff in the Remix decks with the hardware, and you won't have all the color feedback, but I personally prefer Machines Pads to that of the Control F1 significantly. And though you won't get that clicky feedback, it actually lets you play a lot lighter, because Machines Pads are much more sensitive than those of the Control F1. If you own Tractor Pro 2 and a machine controller, I suggest trying this new mapping out. Let me know in the comments if you like it and whether you'll be using it in your DJ sets. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all our tutorials, and check us out at MachineSkills.com for all of our new tutorials and content.